In this video we'll be creating the kitchen. Now looking at this wall, um, one of the things I want to point out, which is just uh, for a bit for feature reference, is that whenever you export a wall from the drawing section and uh, it looks like the front face of the wall is missing, which it is, you can use this option called um, uh, surface orientation which basically just flips around the invisible face, the one that's disappeared over here and uh, gives us our wall back. Alright, uh, now creating a, a basic kitchen is really easy. All you have to do is go to kitchen design, show kitchen. Alright, now from your uh, menu you can choose either base units or base unit drawers, sink base unit and so forth. I'm going to choose base unit and I'm going to start off in the corner here so I'm going to choose a L shape base unit with two doors and uh, give it a height of 680 and just click layout now it'll snap itself to a wall and just position your cursor so it's in the corner of the uh, room there and once it's positioned just left click to place it and there you have your first unit Next we can go and put in some uh, other base units, so I'm going to choose a one door base unit. I'm going to make, remember to make its height 680 again. Click layout. And then the next thing I'm going to put in is a two door base unit. So I'm just going to pop that in, but I'm just make it 680. So layout, there we go. Now on this side I'm going to put a sink base unit in. So let's just choose base unit, sink base unit, two door, and uh, make the height 680. Click layout. There we go. And now we can end that off with a corner base unit, or an end base unit actually. So choose end base unit, which will be under base unit and then end base unit with layer panels ok, remember the height is 680 and just click layout and pop it in over there alright, so they're the base units uh, for our little kitchenette next thing we're going to do is just put in a plinth and um, a worktop so to do that, go to the pro uh, kitchen design menu choose create plinth and it will automatically generate for one for you next you want to do is uh, go and create a worktop so just choose create worktop and it will automatically create a worktop for you all of these options are changeable so if you do want to customize uh, the type or style of everything here you would just go to your kitchen design menu so let's do that again kitchen design parameter settings and here you can play with the different uh, options of uh, the kitchen design menu Right. Okay, so now I'm going to do uh, uh, the wall units. So just elevating uh, the camera up a bit. I'm going to choose wall unit from the menu. And I'm going to choose exactly the same as I did with the bottom, and that's going to be uh, L shape two door. And I'm going to click layout. And I'm just going to place it in the corner. So there we go and I'm just going to move to get a better view of this wall okay and uh, I'm going to insert a one door unit so let's just go one door make that 900 because it's the same size as the corner one click layout here we go and then I'm going to put in an, ex an extractor so under the menu go down to electrical appliances and choose uh, extractor hood choose any one you want here I'm going to take uh, this one here so when you want to insert it just double click on it and ins uh, left click to place it now I want this to be a little bit higher up so actually I don't even want to use this one now. just uh, I'm gonna delete it by pressing F5 on my keyboard that's the shortcut key and then once it's selected right click and click yes so I'm just going to browse uh, up here quick I'm going to use this one here okay great 
Now there are two ways of setting the elevation here. Either you could set it over here, just before you insert it, or like I'm going to do is use the move tool. So using your green selection tool, select the unit, right click, move, grab one of the handles, move it up. Okay, once it's in position, just click apply. And then I'm going to extend the top bit all the way to the ceiling. So using surface selection, I select that section of the um, of the unit. I right click, choose scale, and then take this all the way up to the top and apply. Alright. Okay, um, so I think uh, that's done. We might be able to add one more uh, door, single door wall unit on the end here. So let's just see if we can. Uh, so wall unit one door. That will be 900 layout. And yeah, that fits perfectly. Okay, cool. So there's our little kitchen done. Uh, I'm just going to insert a sink uh, quick. So back in the kitchen library, click on the drop down arrow and go to hardware. And in the sub menu, choose sink. And I'm going to put in, um, let's see. I'll put in a double sink. So just double click on one of the uh, ones you want to use. Or choose layout, or select it. And choose layout. Next thing you want to do is select the, the cupboard you want to put it above. So I'm going to select this unit here. Say yes. Okay. Now it gives you a little diagram. And this diagram shows that, this, that the sink we've chosen is a bit too uh, big. So we can click cancel there and uh, we can just shrink that down a bit so just finding that sink again um, there we go okay so that's a bit smaller so width's only 728 so click layout choose the unit and now you've got options of uh, placing it or positioning it uh, by default it's centered on the unit but by de by uh, deselecting those arrow those ticks you can go and adjust your own uh, positioning. So I'll just leave it as it is and click OK. Just click Yes for under worktop sync, and there we have our sink. Next, I'm going to put a uh, stove above the um, oh just below the extractor. So under the menu, go down to electricity, electrical appliances, choose uh, gas cooker, and electromagnetic cooker. And I'm just going to choose this one here. Click layout, select the unit. And uh, I'm going to have to position this uh, afterwards, so just click OK for now. And using my green selection tool, make sure that object is selected I'm just going to move this across so place it over there, apply, close okay cool so there is my basic kitchen done Oh, just notice that these uh, over here are still orange so using my material selector I'm going to select the material, the white material I'm going to click apply and apply it to the other two cushions and that's uh, all good for now. I think the last thing in the kitchen I'm going to do is just put in a dining room or a little dining table. So I'm going to go to the top view again by clicking on my shortcut icon. And then from here I'm going to go to the products library, show. And under additional library 2, I'm going to go to dining room and choose table. And then just choose one of these. Mm actually just look through some other libraries here um, see if there's anything better uh, let's see hmm. okay I'm going to go back to additional library 2 table and I'm going to choose this one here with the thin legs so just double click to insert it spacebar to rotate 
Okay, this looks like it's taking up quite a bit of space in the room, but it's okay. And then just put in two dining chairs. So um, let's just take something simple here. There we go. Position it that over there. And uh, let's put another one on the other side. And just left click to place that there. And if we go in back into the room by choosing last view, you can see all the changes we've made. Alright, um, so I think the kitchen area is basically done. Uh, next thing we're going to move on to is um, doing our lighting in the scene.